Definitely. So I'm going to put Fury, yeah, yeah. sixth round. Six rounds. But I'm going to put a cheeky white on for fucking fourth round, man. <laughs> it's going to get me some stuff. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So we've got a fight back on our hands with the heavyweight division in the Buddhism. Shouts out to the UK. Um... Remember, we were going to have a fight in July that was all agreed by Joe, Joe, Joe Joyce and Joseph Parker. Um, that did not happen. Anthony Joshua took... I'm not sure which belt um, Joseph had at the time uh, and took that belt back in, I want to say, like, back in... I want to say about 2017, 16, 17... <laughs> Um, and we never saw a good Joseph Parker ever since. Then we saw him in a close decision. What they deemed as well, I see that he he got Derek Chisora got robbed by Joseph Parker in the first fight, and Joseph Parker clearly won the second fight. I give then, him that. um, he just turned into a Tyson Fury fanboy and let Tyson Fury dictate his career. And you know, because Tyson Fury allowed him to use his um gym, which was very nice of him. Um, but um. He said, I would never fight Tyson Fury. I'd never fight him. He's my brother. Like, listen, mate, this is fucking boxing. This is heavyweight. If you want to play Ring of Ring Rosies, fuck off over there and go to a nursery school and do that. Tyson Fury came out and said that he was Joseph Parker's life coach. I knew it had all gone downhill from then. Um, but anyway. So then, all of a sudden, there was... The fight was off. Joseph Parker had absconded from Frank and got signed by Ben Shalom. Sky Boxer, I think they've, I think they've possibly made a mistake. I think Parker is now just newly turned thirty years old. He looks older than what he is. Um, granted, Joe Joyce thirty seven. All of a sudden, now we've we've got this fight that's happening in Manchester, September the twenty fourth. I'm glad they've got this over the line. I am fully rooting for Joe Joyce all the fucking way on this one. Um, Joe Joyce. In the press conference, it got a little heated. Um, Joe just called him a duck. And there was like... And Joseph Parker tried to say, you know, you know you're little Joe. Um, and, oh, God. And then it got a bit spicy between Frank and Frank and Ben Shalom. Yeah. Do you want to have a little sneak peek? Stand by. Stand by. Can't wait to, to like, just knock him out. Just for all this, like, this long time waiting and all this messing about when we could have had it in July. In July. He's come over here. We're here, that's man. That's not true. Yeah. We We've lived. Yeah. Hey, so not true. Um, that's an opinion. He's done more to make it happen. He walked away from a fight. Yeah, the terms weren't right, Frank. You shook my hand at Tyson's well, you got up, press conference, you got better, at one deal, and then you went back and told me it's a different no, no, deal. No, your your solicitor drafted the deal. Frank, did you not remember shaking my hand at Tyson's press I conference? I do remember it. Yeah. Tyson and what was it? As well. What was the deal? Tell and Tyson remembers. What was the deal? What well, we did. The what was deal the, you went I back and texted me. You said you couldn't fulfill the deal because you jumped the gun. No, right? I yes, you did. We negotiated. You jumped the gun. You come up and tell me what. The bottom line was you had a contract. I've got your text on my phone. You, you took my hand for a one fight deal. I'll read your contract. I'll read your do you text. want me to say the numbers? Do you want me to say the numbers, everyone? If you want to say numbers, that's You shook my hand at 1.5 million. Did I? Did not you did. No, I did not. No, I did not. You <laughs> shook my hand and I told the whole team. Ah, they're not going back and forth. Frank loves that notorious. I've got the text on my phone. Let, let, let me get my phone out. So Frank, we 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 all know the we all know that text now. We know it off by heart, like word for word, like all of us now. You've read that text out in every. IFL, seconds out, um, everywhere. Wherever, wherever there was a boxing channel that interviewed Frank about the this deal going sour, he read that text. We know, save us, Frank, save us. Joseph Parker getting a bit spicy. Um, this is going to be a good fight because they're arguing that who's the A-side, who's there. Joseph Parker, I'm afraid. I don't know if you're the A-side in this. I don't know. You're not, because you're not the home fighter, so you're not the A-side in this. Like, really, I guess. Who cares? It's going to be a good fight, though, and Joe Joyce is going to... Joseph Parker's got a chin. I don't... I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not... I've never been that high on Joseph Parker, so... Um... I'm anticipating a Joe Joyce 
Naga, just stop him, Joe Joyce. Just send him back to New Zealand. As soon as he, as soon as Joseph Barker loses, you're gonna see Tyson Fury disassociate, like like what he did to Billy Joe Joe Saunders. You'll see Tyson no Tyson no loyalty Fury. You'll see, and then you, Joseph Barker's gonna be like, oh, fuck, I got that all wrong. Yes, you did. Now back on that twenty four hour plane ride. Yeah, I, I, it's going to be on BT Sports. Um, I think, is this a pay-per-view event? I think so, yeah. I think it's PPVs, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I look forward to it. Anyway, I'm gone. Hey, girl, it's Leonie Shan. Or not, let's come back to Shan. Gyan! The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's for true. Gyan! Gyan!